homes were spared, there's a new threat because of that weather. Many homes now lack electricity or natural gas for heat. Some people are relying on space heaters to get by until the XL repair crews finish all their work. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas in Superior tonight. And Dylan, the snow, very welcome, but that cold does present a new challenge. And Jim, right now we are at Tyler and South Rock Creek Road near this uh, community right behind me and the Bell Flatiron Apartments where this neighborhood off to this side, a lot of the homes were tragically lost in this fire. Very difficult news for people to wake up to this morning. But for others, they had positive news. Their houses were spared. But as you can see behind me, there's still roadblocks. Once those are lifted, they may be returning to a whole different type of nightmare. The world changed in two hours. It was the catastrophe those living a suburban neighborhood life never imagined. It was complete chaos, uh, you know, everywhere. I came out, there was smoke everywhere. Everyone was panicking. I, I didn't know what was going on. The fire started and erupted so quickly, many had no clue what was happening until they got calls. You need to evacuate. I was washing dishes and looked out the kitchen window and saw a bunch of smoke. As embers and ashes faded into flakes of snow. And we were terrified. All night. For some in the Crestview neighborhood. In our little section, you wouldn't even know there had there was any fire at all. We walked up, um, checked on the house. Uh, you know, thank God it's still there. For many others, they lost everything. But even the homes that survived aren't out of the woods. The snow now posing its own threat. Frozen water pipes. We've got power. We just don't have any gas. XL crews are now working tirelessly to restore gas until then. We have some space heaters, but obviously it's a hike to, to, to bring it up to where our home is. With neighborhoods still largely evacuated, the journey ahead is likely to be an uphill battle. It's going to be a long process. There's a lot of houses destroyed. Definitely so. And those we spoke with say they feel very fortunate that their houses were spared and they can only imagine the devastation that the other families are going through. If you are one of those who does need a space heater, the Red Cross actually is going to be handing those out at the YMCA in Lafayette off of uh, Dagny Way. Reporting live in Superior, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.